Welcome back, friends, again to Beginner Sewing with Mary. Instead of doing a sewing, a sewing project, I decided to go and make a couple of really easy 4th of July things that you can use to decorate your house. This one is a really easy wreath. All the supplies I got at the Dollar Tree. I think I spent probably $4 to make this wreath. It's a smaller wreath. Um, and I got some red, white, and blue flowers and also a, um, a few little placards that I pulled apart. And luckily on this wreath, it already had a hanging hook right on the back, right where I needed to place it to hang on the door. So it was very, very easy to make. Here I did use a glue gun, a hot glue gun. There we go. And I'm sorry for the footage. It looked fine when I was videoing, and then when I went back to look at it, it looks like my camera cut some stuff off, but I will give you some better pictures. There we go. That is the first one. Now I'm gonna make a little white bow to put on the top using some extra ribbon that I had. You loop it over and then you cut off another little extra piece for the center to hold it in place. And again, I'm using my hot glue gun to do that. So it should be real simple. This is really easy to do. There we go. It is so cute. Like I said, there's already a hook on the back, so you can put it, easily hang it right on your door. There we go. The next project we're gonna make is we're gonna make just a simple 4th of July bouquet. I got these rocks from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna pour them into the flower vase. When you um, wanna just use silk flowers in a flower vase, you need to put rocks or something on the bottom because otherwise they might fall over. It gives it nice, a, a really nice weight. Otherwise, um, normally when you use fresh flowers, the water in the vase would keep it centered. So that's why I decided to go put rocks in here and it really adds a little touch of class to it. In our house, we mostly use silk flowers because so many people in my family are allergic to flowers. We have pollen allergies, so. Anyway, there we go. And then I took a little bit of a netting ribbon. You'll be able to see it when I pull the camera back and just tied it around the bottom. Just make sure everything was straight. And you have to pull the ribbon apart after you tie it to make it nice and full. There we go. And I used another one of those placards to go ahead and to straighten it up. Here, I'll show you. There we go. There's our little 4th of July bouquet. 